For many kids, school is the last thing on their minds on a weekend. But for Polaris Expeditionary Learning seniors Ethan Wood and Soup Cloud, their Saturday is spent worrying about the future of their facility. I felt awful. Yeah, we felt betrayed. Their school is at risk of being split up after Pooter Superintendent Brian Kingsley announced plans to consolidate a number of schools for the 2024 school year. Cloud says Polaris is a unique, inclusive learning space, especially for neurodivergent and queer students. They worry moving students to other schools could put them at risk for bullying. Being, um, I'm a Christian myself, I'm non-binary, um, and I can only imagine like if I wasn't a senior and I wasn't moving on, I'd be terrified of yeah. what I was going to happen to me in these other schools. Students attending Polaris Expeditionary Learning would move into either Olander Elementary or Blevins Middle School, but Polaris wouldn't shut down. Pooter says the district's two alternative education programs at Centennial High School and at Pooter Community Academy would move into the building here. And community connections and Cooper Home programs for special needs students would move into Centennial. In a note to the district, Superintendent Kingsley said these changes are needed due to declining enrollment. Students aren't buying it. We've been backstabbed by Kingsley mm -hmm. and it feels like they gave us short notice so we couldn't fight it. But Polaris students will be. Wooden Clouds say students are planning a walkout Monday. We are meeting in our parking lot at 1222 and we are walking to um, the district building that's next to Pooter High School. Um, and we're going to just, you know, say we do not agree with this um, and you need to make some changes to the current plan. And planning to sit in and protest after school Tuesday until the board meeting that night. So our goal right now is to stop the vote. They say they understand the district is facing challenges, but they don't believe their school should be split up to fix it. It does not feel like um, a valid reason to rip our community away from us. We reached out to Pooter Schools for comment and have yet to hear back. Superintendent Kingley's, Kingsley says he will share more information about the consolidation plans during their board meeting on Tuesday. And the district says even more schools may need to be consolidated and modified as they move forward.